Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we'll see how you can use Azure pipelines and Artifactory service connection to upload files into Artifactory or download files from Artifact. So first step is we'll create a generic repository in Artifactory. So you log in to Artifactory and then in Artifact, actually you can set up a generic repository using one of these packages. I have already set that up. So if I go to Artifacts and here, you can see upload or download minus generic minus local. So this is the repository which we'll use to upload files or download files from. So you have to set this up. And now we'll go to Azure DevOps to create pipeline and to create service connection. So I'm already logged into my Azure DevOps and on bottom left side, project settings, we'll go to service connection to create a service connection to Artifactory. I've already created one basic auth Artifactory. I'll just show how you have to create this one, edit. So there are two ways, either basic authentication, which will use your username password, or you can create a token and use that token. So I'll just show this service connection using basic authentication. Server URI, this will be your JFrog Artifactory URI, which you replace here and slash Artifactory. Your username and password goes here. You can verify and then give a name to this service connection and verify and save. So your service connection is ready now. Now we'll create Azure pipeline and we'll add some steps to upload and download files to the Artifactory. So here I have already created this pipeline and I will walk you through the steps to do that. You see it starts with trigger master and then it has this job built in test. It is using self hosted agent which is running on this laptop. And there are these tasks which are normal tasks, nothing to do with upload or download of Artifactory. So it just gets the repository, then builds the project, uh, does the test, copies the files and publishes the artifact. Now till here, all these steps are normal. The next step is Artifactory generic upload. Now this is a step which will upload the files to Artifactory. Here we are providing the service connection which we created, basic auth Artifactory. And then we are providing the file using pattern. So I'm saying star.go. So any file which is having extension .go will be picked up and will be uploaded to this particular repository in this upload folder. Similarly, another file pattern is star.yaml and it will be uploaded to the same folder. And if you see in my repository, I have lots of YAML files, but only one is named as YAML, others are .yml. So I am expecting only this file to be picked up plus all the .go files, which would be there. So around three files for .go. So these files will be picked up and then they'll be uploaded. And immediately in the next step, I am using Artifactory generic download. Again, providing the service connection and providing a file pattern where I say all the files with extension .go should be downloaded to C download folder in the C drive. Now, if you see here in the C drive, I have this download folder, nothing is sitting here right now and when this pipeline runs it will download and we should see those files downloaded so let's run this pipeline and see how it works so we go to pipelines this is a pipeline i have already created and i have run a couple of times to test it i will run it once again So the pipeline has run successfully now and I will show you some details about this generic upload step. If you see here, it goes to the steps of finding out the files to upload and then finds those files and then uploads with the status success. Similarly, when we go to generic download, it figures out all the files which match that pattern and then downloads them successfully. And if you go to C drive here, you see upload folder is created and all three files are here also we can go to artifactory and we can just refresh this if you expand and you can see upload folder is created and all the files are here so using azure devops pipeline you can easily upload files to artifactory and download from them just to point out these files are downloaded on my laptop so if you are running your self-hosted agent, then it is easy to view them. If you are using Microsoft hosted agent, then after downloading, you have to write some steps to move the files from there because once the pipeline is executed, you won't be able to see those files. So either you have to again publish them as artifact so that you can view them in the pipeline itself. Otherwise, 
they'll be lost another thing is this is a very simple scenario i have shown here just to make you familiar that how you can upload files if you go to artifactory jfrog artifactory link here they are given lots of scenarios which you can play with and try out using placeholders so there are different examples shown here you can check them out there are examples like how you can exclude files and how you can include files based on different conditions i hope this video has helped you to understand this concept uh, see you in next session thank you